Dear all, this video explains about determination of partition coefficient of benzoic acid between benzene and aqueous layer that is water. The chemicals required are benzoic acid, benzene, 0 0.05 normal sodium hydroxide, 0 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide, then distilled water, phenolphthalein indicator. First, weigh 500 milligram of benzoic acid, which is used for set one experiment. Transfer this to toppled iodine flask. Dissolve in 50 ml of benzene. While transferring, take care. So transfer this 50 ml of benzene and dissolve the benzoic acid. The benzoic acid should be soluble in benzene. So check that no residues remains. Once entire benzoic acid go in goes into solution, transfer 100 ml of distilled water. So you have to take 100 ml of distilled water and transfer to the same iodine flask or stoppered flask which serves as a aqueous layer. Just open transfer. Now the benzoic acid is distributed between benzene and aqueous layer that is water. For that you have to shake for 30 minutes to achieve the equilibrium because the benzene benzoic acid should go into both the phases solubilize in both the phases. So you have to shake vigorously. Okay. Because here the solubility important. So how much amount of benzoic acid goes into organic layer and aqueous layer. In between you have to just open the stopper because gas will be generated. So you have to release in between also otherwise the stopper will bump. Okay. So shake it for vigorously for 30 minutes. Okay. Then can see the separate layers okay upper layer is benzene and lower layer is water now transfer to a so clean separating funnel before that check the functioning of separating funnel and below the separating funnel keep a beaker okay. carefully transfer the solution you can see two layers will be formed now put the stopper 
allow for 20 minutes to separate the both the layers. So you can see it's layers, first is benzene layer, lower layer is aqueous layer. So density of benzene is very low, that is why it is upper layer, lower layer is or aqueous. Now transfer 0 0.05 normal sodium hydroxide solution into burette for titrating the aqueous layer. Fill the burette carefully, adjust the reading to 0. Now, so this is for aqueous layer, titrating the aqueous layer. Now you have to take aqueous layer from the separating funnel, separate open the stopper, then slowly transfer the contents that is only aqueous layer into 100 ml beaker, you should be careful while transferring, slowly transfer otherwise suddenly entire thing will come out. So, Okay, stop, tighten, okay, this is the aqueous layer. So, take clean conical flask, take 10 ml of bulb pipette, transfer 10 ml of aqueous layer and add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator so which is serves as a indicator so phenolphthalein 2 drops you have to add then titrate against 0 0.05 normal sodium hydroxide. So color change is colorless to pink color, end point is pink color. So we are titrating with 0 0.05 normal sodium hydroxide because the concentration of benzoic acid is less in aqueous layer compared to organic layer. In the organic layer, the benzoic acid forms a dimer, okay. two molecules of benzoic acids are associated. So that is why we cannot apply the normal formula that is K is equal to that is distribution coefficient or partition coefficient is equal to CO by CW that is C organic concentration of solute in organic layer divided by concentration of solute in aqueous layer. So that is why the formula is modified here that is nth root of CO by CW okay n means number of molecules associated here two molecules of benzoic acid associated with one molecule of benzene. So that is why n is equal to 2. So once again repeat the titration with the 10 ml of aqueous layer to get the concordant value. So same thing. So the formula is modified here, so n is 2, so, so that is why square root of 
CO concentration in organic layer divided by concentration in the aqueous layer. So now we are finding out concentration in aqueous layer. So once again color changes colorless to pink color. So carefully titrate you have to titrate it because small amount of titrant is sufficient. So note down the value. Now next so we have to titrate the organic layer. So that is why we are using 0.5 normal you can see 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide the concentration is more. So fill the burette. Now take the organic layer. So remove the stopper. So transfer entire benzene layer that is organic layer once again repeat in the same way take ok this is the organic layer which contains benzoic acid so from this also you have to take 10 ml of the organic layer so while pipetting be careful this is a benzene which is carcinogenic in nature so you have to careful so transfer 10 ml while pipette use phenolphthalein indicator 2 drops is sufficient then once again titrate with 0.5 normal that is important 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide solution so end point also here same pink color you should get that is colorless to pink so shake the conical flask properly because it's a benzene so it's an organic solvent and you have sodium hydroxide other side so Similar lip repeat to get the concordant value. So 10 ml of organic layer. So transfer into conical flask. Okay, so note down the values. So finally, so how much concentrate calculate finally how much concentration in the organic layer and how much concentration in the aqueous layer and apply the formula to find out the partition coefficient of benzoic acid between benzene and water so standard value is 25 at room temperature or at 25 degrees centigrade so whatever the sodium hydroxide that is solutions are used it should be standardized by using oxalic acid 